Nigel. I'm Nigel, and I'm in my 50s, and I'm definitely going through a midlife crisis. In this video, I'll be showing you around my Vauxhall Vivaro long wheelbase camper van, which I converted over five years ago and never fully finished. I've enjoyed so many adventures in this van, in the UK and Europe, including three weeks tour in Italy. Despite not having the trim finished and never having a table, it's been amazing. I spent the last few weeks finishing off my baby to prepare to sell her before I move on to convert my old Vivaro work van and then finally my long wheelbase high roof sprinter which I've bought specifically so that I can move into it full time. Morning. Uh, slept in this morning. <laughs> I was supposed to be getting up early and going to show you the van. Anyway, let's go now. Oh, hello. Well, it's time for a little tour of my van. So, this is the van. It took me five years. So, you can see, I've colour coded the mirrors, put some alloys on. They are rated alloys uh, for the van and the original size of wheel, so there's no change in the speedometer, etc and they're just standard tyres. Nice little bit of chrome work along the bottom there. Welcome to the van tour. I bought this Vivaro five years ago and converted it into a camper van. I say I converted it, but what happened was I did all the things that I had to do so that I could use it and then the sun came out and I wonder how many other people have done exactly the same where they've got everything so they can use it and then work stops and then they end up using a van which is functional but it's not got all the little bits of trim that you you know to finish it off so I've just spent the last couple of weeks finishing off all the trim and the only reason why I'm doing that now is because I'm gonna sell the van because I've decided I want a bigger van so that I can move into full-time so ironically, the person who gets this van will end up with my perfect camper van that I've never had. <laughs> Let me show you around. So we've got IKEA blinds, which just, you can put them anywhere you want. They just pull down and then tuck away and disappear. So inside we have the window at the side there. I've got these fancy blue lights going around. That's my fridge, which is a good size fridge. We just take this out of here, open up, and you see there's a freezer and a really big fridge compartment. These, uh, this works off gas, mains electric, which is not actually wired up in this van because I didn't think I'd need it, and I've got to say I didn't need it. And what I'm usually working it off is LPG from the underslung tank. Over here is my little control centre. So this is for the uh, the diesel heater. Um, this is for my lights. So we have these LEDs going around the van, and this is for the water heater. Um, that's for the water pump. That's for the water heater, which works off the LPG. Um, we can have the fridge working off 12 volt, uh, which is useful when you're on a journey, when you're traveling, because uh, it'll be running off the alternator. And then there's my favorite little light here. I love this, because when I'm laid in bed at night, it was one of my first decisions that I wanted a light. Where at the end of the night, I can just pull the cord. So you've noticed here at the back, we have the three burner gas hob that runs off the LPG, a good size sink and drainer and hot and cold mixer taps are the all important fire extinguisher. Up here CO2 carbon monoxide, this is the wardrobe, the wardrobe has caught hanging space and fit quite a lot of stuff in here. Now the other thing we have in here is there's absolutely tons and tons of storage there's all in there and then there's more cupboard space all down at the bottom here so this is one of those things 
where I never finished the van completely and I want to, it's only now when I'm doing it to sell it that uh, it's in there. I've never had a table. So, but before we do that, let me show you the other thing. Now, one of the things I don't like about the majority of camper van conversions that I've seen is that you've got a rock and roll bed which is tucked into the side here so that you can't see these beautiful views. This is one of the things that I scratch my head about most of all, trying to decide how best to incorporate the use of space inside here and um, to be able to enjoy these beautiful views. So here's what I came up with. And I'm telling you, it looks like you can see it now in place, but this is months and months and months of deciding. So underneath here is tons of storage space, but the key part for the bed, it doesn't need a leg or a support because it runs on super strong runners, which can take more than double my weight easily. So to make the bed, you just simply pull this out and they drop into place. Well, supposedly they drop into place. And that's it. I mean, that's the bed made. It's a full size double bed. Underneath the bed is tons of storage. Underneath the bed is the battery. So you can see with this layout, basically, I've got absolutely tons, tons and tons of couch space. But the best part is, I can sit here and watch the view. I mean, come on, isn't that what it's all about? So the table, which I've never had, <laughs> is it just sits here behind the driver's seat and I'm gonna put it up so you can see it in action. I'm so jealous. <laughs> so we have a leg which just uh, springs across and goes down. And then this simply, sits on here like so and then you can lock them on underneath like so but I've put a long rail on so that we can slide it right up to the kitchen counter there and use it while preparing if one requires or while you want to sit in the back we can we can sit here with a nice cup of coffee and slide the table right up to the and here, laptop, workstation, the contemplation table. I so wish I had this table when I was using the camper van. I don't know. A flutter bag. And that's locked on, so that can stay there while you're driving. It's not going to go anywhere. It's locked onto the on the, to the, the place there. It's, it's great. Let's have a look outside. In the front here, I'm not sure how tidy it is. The seats. These aren't seat covers. This is actually upholstered faux leather. And a reversing camera comes onto this screen here. In the middle for the reversing camera, I've drilled a hole out of the handle here and installed it. Along the top of the van I've installed the J-rail. This works perfectly with the inflatable awning. So it just clips straight on on off, making life so much easier. Ta-da! So we have three burners, grill. Grill you can only use outside because I didn't put a hole on the inside. This is access to the storage, which runs right the way through, all the way along here. You can get to it from either side. There's a door on the other side as well. What I like to use is those, um, those, those supermarket bags that are for life, the rigid ones, and I use them to partition off the areas with whatever I've got going on in there. On this side is red diesel which you can use because it's only for the heating so that's perfectly legal to use that and it's half the price more or less of regular diesel. Down here is a little cubby hole which will take you into where you can get your hot water and your shower, uh, with your water and your shower, 
utensils, and I usually keep my barbecue, ramps, and things like that in there. This also is hinged on a piano hinge all the way up there, so you have got access to the back of the fridge and your hot water boiler as well. You see that? There it is. Let me show you the water. So you want a shower? No problem. We have this as a trigger, so you're not wasting water. And we simply lift up this flap, like so, and you can see there's the red and blue. So that's, you're regulating the temperature with this. So that simply pushes in and you turn it full red hot, not so hot, and, and trigger that. So it comes with a shower tent, which sits here. There's also a little bit of decking to go in the bottom if you want that as well. And this fits through a little flap in the top corner and you can shower away. Fantastic. These are the vents for the fridge. This is your Cascade hot water, which runs off the LPG. It's fantastic, heats it up in no time at all. And then down here is where you have the other pump. So you can have your water outside here in whatever size barrel that you want, or even just a five litre water container I use a lot when I'm on the road. Just drop that in there and you can use it for your showering or whatever. So inside at the back here also, You'll notice this is your, your dropout vent because there's quite a bit of LPG that runs through there. Uh, also, we have in here, this is where you switch, isolate all your gas for the, as you can see, it's very professionally signposted, hob, fridge and water. <laughs> a gaggle of geese. <laughs> so if you can hear me through the racket, underneath the van, there is an underslung LPG tank which fires up the hot water and the hob, obviously. What else does it do? It does something else. It does something else as well, can't remember what. And to fill it, it's dead easy. When you're getting your fuel from the petrol station, that's where your diesel goes and that's where your LPG goes. Nice and easy. When it becomes bedtime, I've got two choices. If I'm just staying overnight somewhere, or stealth camping, or whatever, then all I'll do is, these are blackout material, so I'll just simply pull that across there. See there's like a, a curtain rail that's fixed into. Pull that across there, and that's it, I'm done. If I, when I'm on my own, which I usually am, but if I'm just doing a quick overnight stay, then this is, plenty wide enough like a single bed I don't even bother pulling it out to do anything with it but obviously if I'm staying somewhere and I want a little more comfort it's just as easy just to slide it out there's no legs to put down or anything like that slide it out throw your covers on and you're in for a good night's sleep it really is comfortable is this bed on oh, the side of the bed also uh, the van comes with this uh, it's not a TV but this is just, all it is is a cheap tablet, but you can charge it from here and you've got a little SD card. Well, I have a little SD card in there. It has got a bit of a scratch, scratch screen, but it still, still works. And I have TV series and stuff like that on here that I can watch, but I can also link it up to the Wi-Fi uh, hotspot on my phone and use it to stream things and watch YouTube and things like that. So that's fantastic. Oh, I've not shown you the other door, have I? So the other door is the same style IKEA type blind. Let's just slide down like so. You can see me? It just slides down like so, just like the other side. So if I do both sides, you can see that we are spooky. Look at that, hey? Oh yeah, I mean, the feeling of space in here is fantastic. I've never been in a camper van this size that gives you this much feeling of space. But what if you want more space? Can you see the light shining off my head? What if you want more space? This was important to me as well because I like to entertain and have people around. So this was my solution. In that lot of room, I've comfortably sat six people in here, two on there. They've got to be good friends, of course. 
and four across there. So this is nice and secure, <sighs> lovely and comfortable. Quite often I slide this seat back and use it as a hat, like a bit of a chaise lounge for the couch. Um, and it's just great, you can see you can have these windows open. This is the conservatory, you've got all the glass around you um, and it's fantastic. Now what do I do if I'm having the big van and I'm sleeping at night and I want to keep this conservatory space in place. So quite often I might have my overnight bag on the front seat here. Um, and this curtain rail goes all the way around the van here. So basically, all I need to do is uh, pull the curtain around. There you have it. So on one side, they're white. The idea being that that's the side that I'll show when it's hung in front of me here. So from outside looking in, it kind of just looks like it's the panel van with the, what's it called? Bulkhead at the back of the seats. When it's all the way around, it's a light gray and it's a reflective as well. So it should help to keep the heat from the sun and reflect all that out. And again, as you can see, there's no light coming through the actual material, it's blackout blind. I love that. I love all this space. It's just fantastic. Well, I think I picked the hottest day of the year to show you that, but it only took me two minutes. It's so easy with that power tool. Uh, first try doing it without a power tool, but the threads go on forever. So it just takes a long time going. If you want to know any more details, please put something in the comments for me. I always forget, if you enjoy my video, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos and support me to make more videos, the best way you can do that, it costs you nothing at all, and that is to hit subscribe. And if you want notifications of when a new video comes out, touch the little bell button on the side there. It really helps me out. I'm interested in all your comments, and please share with me your stories of building a van but never actually finishing it, living without a table, panels missing off walls, all that kind of stuff. So, but now this is my ultimate van. It's just too small for living in full time, which is the only reason why I'm selling it. Woohoo!